Every poem is a movement. Ah, yes, that's a confirmation. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. This one here, uh, it's a 10 year old. <laughs> of innocent bloodshed being shed to fulfill all are created equal. And I sit back and watch a whole group of people go from being black to being see-through, seeing through bloods and crips, reminiscent of chains and whips. Used to be forced slavery, now we choose slavery in the form of chains and whips. Jeans and kicks, dogs and chicks, girls getting their identities found through their thighs and hips. But if your eyes and lips can see and taste the mental cotton we picking, then you, like I would see, we're conditionally sick. Brothers are shooting their own kind because they can't stand to see the image in the mirror. A self hatred overflows from inside of them because instead of a father, they had a sperm donor who never delivered. But listen, get the picture. Your life is being the negative fulfillment of the scriptures. You are a slave to the master you obey. So when you bust shots and another brother you slay, will you just be in a slave and the victim to the system you say you hate? Eating crumbs from the plate. The time is now, but you late. What they don't teach us in school is that we made slaves out of ourselves before the Europeans ever got there. Creating systems of exploitation that raises one and brings down the other. A system of cycles that we continue even till today. Mixing beats with words of ignorance, foolish hip hop, music with no significance. So as Fiddler plays for Massa with a diamond chained around his neck, Kunta bobs his soul as a self form of disrespect. The others kill each other like bloods killing crips while they still crip stepping. They think they reppin' they set when in truth it's Willie Lynch they reppin'. I can see the bodies of Negro boys and girls hanging from trees with a rope of ignorance around their necks and whip markings embedded on their backs. These boys and girls, a.k.a. our next generation, are being whipped and lynched by slave 